It's election night 2023 and we have team coverage for you tonight as counties, towns and cities across the east vote for their local leaders. Nine on your sides, Adriana Hargrove is standing by in our newsroom after spending the night in Aiden where people voted for a new mayor today. And our Aaron Jenkins is also with us tonight covering the mayoral race in Greenville. And that is where we start here on your local election headquarters. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ken Watlington and I'm Angie Casava. Mayor PJ Connolly survives another challenge and wins re-election tonight. Now let's get to those results now. He gets 60% of the vote over his challenger, Barbara Gaskins. Now your side's Erin Jenkins has been following this race all day long. She joins us live tonight in Greenville with more from the incumbent mayor. Yeah, Ken, Angie, it was an exciting night here as Mayor PJ Connolly was re-elected for a fourth term as the mayor of Greenville. A watch party just wrapped up about an hour ago here on Dickinson Avenue. Connolly was surrounded by his wife, his two daughters, lots of friends and family members as well. It was all smiles, hugs and some cheers when those results became final. Connolly says while he's accomplished a lot over the last six years, he's excited for one more opportunity to lead Greenville forward. I think it's always vitally important for us to continue to invest in our infrastructure. Uh, a lot of complaints that I get all the time is the road system and, and the quality of the roads that are in our area. So we'll continue to work on that. Safety is always the biggest aspect too. We want to make sure that we live in a safe community. So we're going to work to make sure that Greenville is a safe community and make sure that we have the resources necessary to keep it safe. You know, and finally also we want to make sure that we're bringing jobs to our area because it's important for those people that are graduating from East Carolina or citizens that just live in our area to be able to have good quality paying jobs. So we'll continue to work on that. And also to make Greenville a fun place to live. I think that's extremely important as well. Running against Connolly tonight was Barbara Gaskins. I was at her watch party earlier this evening. She says win or lose, she won't stop advocating for the people in her hometown of Greenville. Now Connolly says while he will celebrate tonight, it will be back to work first thing tomorrow morning, especially now that he'll be working with several new council members. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, nine on your side. Aaron, thank you. The town of Aiden here in Pitt County has a new mayor. Mayor Pro Tem Ivory Mewborn is the new mayor of Aiden, beating three other candidates. Let's take a look at the results. Mewborn getting 44% of the votes. Mewborn now takes over after the outgoing mayor, Steve Tripp, announced earlier this year he would not seek re-election after 20 years in that role. Nine on your signs, Adriana Hargrove has been following this race for us. She's joining us now in our newsroom. So, Adriana, how was the atmosphere out there tonight? Ken, everyone in Aiden jumped and shouted for joy and even praised God for Mayor Pro Tem Ivory Mewburn's win. Mewburn, who was born and raised in Aiden, served 12 years representing Ward 1. And as, mayor's, as, and as Aiden's Mayor Pro Tem, he worked closely with Mayor Steve Tripp. Mayor Pro Tem Mewburn says he can't describe how he feels. Well, I feel that I'm on a mission to make this town better and everything. That's, that's what I really feel. I serve people through serving God and I serve God through serving people. Mewburn adds without his faith in God, he wouldn't have gotten this far. Now coming up later in the show, we'll hear more about how Mewburn's win has made history for the small town of Aiden. In the newsroom, Adriana Hargrove, nine on your side. All right, Adriana, thank you. We're also following some other key races across the east tonight, so let's take a look at some of those results. And for that, we check in with nine on your side anchor, Courtney Courtright. She's here in the studio now. Courtney, good evening. Good evening, Ken and Angie. It's been a busy evening. We have these results coming in from our newsroom all night and we have those key races and the results right here on WNCT. Let's start with the Greenville City Council in the at large seat incumbent Will Bell loses Will Bell loses his reelection bid. Portia Willis wins a seat on Greenville City Council with 48% of the vote for District 1 incumbent Monica Daniels keeps her seat on the City Council. She gets 55% of the vote tonight over her two other challengers. This one is big. Greenville Mayor Pro Tem is now out. Rose Glover loses her seat in District 2. Tanya Foreman wins with 60% of the vote tonight. In District 3, incumbent Miriam Blackburn keeps her seat. She gets 56% of the vote and beats Neil Driver. And the final contested race in the city of Greenville's council is District 4. Matthew Scully is your winner. He gets 64% of the vote and beats Robert McCarthy. Rick Smiley, who represented District 4, did not run in Lenore County. Now the town of Pink Hill has a new mayor after months of controversy. 
Mike Horn is the new mayor. He wins over Yvonne Deathridge with 60% have the vote there tonight over in Washington. Now people also voting for mayor over there. Incumbent Donald Sandler wins reelection with 58% of the vote. His challenger Bobby Robertson had 42%. And finally tonight in Jacksonville council seat for Ward 4 incumbent Angelia Washington holds on to her seat beating Juan Beltran with 74% of the vote. And you can see more results over on our website, WNCT.com. All you have to do is find the Your Local Election Headquarters section under the News tab. You can find that on the top banner of our homepage. And of course, you can also get that same information on the free Nine Your Side mobile app.